Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. Uh, today is the 19th day of the War Boss Days painting challenge. And as you can see, I got my uh, soldier, the infantry done for the U.S. Army stuff. So that's 36 infantry done with four heavy weapons teams and a uh, artillery piece which gives me one, two, three, 30 cal machine guns, an 81 millimeter mortar, 105 millimeter howitzer, uh, two bazooka teams, and then two 10 man squads and one 11 man squad. I guess I could make one dude the uh, lieutenant or whatever I need to do to make to, to run the platoon or company or whatever this is works out. But this is the uh, American bolt action starter set. Uh, you can see I started putting the, uh, the decals on to the um, half track and uh, I definitely should have put a gloss coat down before I started that because these, these decals were a lot more fiddly than I expected them to be so when I do the Sherman decals uh, she'll get the um, definitely get the gloss coat treatment before I do that but you can see I picked out uh, the stowage on here just with the cheap the, the easy peasy stuff and I've done the helmets but and the guns we still got to do the packs and then whatever these little things are. They look kind of like, honestly, it looks like the tops have been taken off, so they could be meal kits or landmines for all I know. I have no idea. But the Microsol is slowly melting these decals down onto where they're supposed to be, so we'll have to see if they go. But that's uh, 19 days to get these guys to this position. Um, I kind of feel like I should put... So you can see some of the, the little flower tufts I put on here. I don't want to focus it. And he's got a nice little bunch of daisies there, or daffodils or whatever. Help him look cool. And there we go. But that was fun. That was some good stuff. Uh, once I get the the tanks done. Or the, the excuse me the armor the mechanized part of the portion done uh, my son and I will play some bolt action games I uh, was pretty excited for today because the Indominus stuff came out and I had ordered the rule book and then the crusade journal and uh, went to the shop and the shop hadn't got their Indominus order yet even though they had been billed and had paid everything and we're just waiting for the stuff to come in and the box sets and everything so that was a small letdown but you know it's when you don't the nearest G actual GW store is over an hour and a half away, and honestly, I'd much rather patronize the store that it's in town because it's a dude I know. He's a good guy, a good businessman, and a good is a good friend, honestly. And so I don't I, I would instead of now instead of just ordering from GW when I feel like something, I make sure I wait till I can go into the shop and order from him so that I can make sure that the shop stays open so that I have a place to play. But um. Anyway, back to the, 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 the painting challenge. Today's question is, what tell us about the first miniatures or board game you remember playing and how old were you? What was it and who did you play against? And this one I have one, quite possibly one of the one of my favorite stories that gets told and retold anytime one of my family gets into board games for the first time, like as a child. And that was when I was a kid, maybe five or six, uh, my parents got the game Clue. And we all wanted to play Clue, and so my mom sat down with us and she put, uh, you know, she did, did the stuff where you, you shuffle out all the cards and you put a weapon and a person and a room into the, the evidence bag and it goes in the center of the board and that's who did it, you know, and then you hand out all the cards to everybody else and, uh, and you're supposed to, over time, ask questions of everybody, see which cards people have, use logic and reasoning and figure out who is in the, uh, who, who is not accounted for who doesn't have an alibi and who who did it you know you guys have played clue but uh you know five six year old me i looked at the cover of the box and i'll see if i can find a cover of the box um picture to post on to this part of the video but uh i found a cover of the box and I, on the cover it, it had one of the characters in the back miss white peeking in through the door of the hallway with the candlestick you know, she's she's in the hall she's looking into the room and she's got the candlestick and boy she looks she looks murderous 
and you know, five year old me is like, well, there, that's who did it. That's her picture. She's the one that did it. And so I, I march my character. I think it was Colonel Mustard, and I march all the way over to the, uh, to the hall, and without looking at anybody else's cards, without asking questions, said Miss White in the hall with a candlestick. And my mom's like, no, you have to do this. No, it's, she's the one that did it. I said, no, you need to look for evidence. You need to go and ask. No, and I was adamant. I would not mudge. I didn't want to play the game that they were telling me how to play. And so my mom's, all right, well, we're going to open this thing. And if it's wrong, then you've lost the game and you can't play anymore. And she takes the little folder and she pulls out the cards. And it was Miss White in the hall with candlestick. And I was right. Now, the next, like, 20 times that I guessed that, I was wrong. But that one time, right off the bat, I was completely and utterly right. And, you know, flabbergasted my mom. And I was like, yes, victory. I know how to play this game. This is the greatest game ever. And honestly, I still like Clue. I still enjoy it, even though it's never Miss White in the hall with the candlestick. But um, but there you go. That's my first board game experience. My first miniatures, I would say, was uh, some of the Lord of the Rings miniatures. And I have, I have no idea where they are. Um... But uh, we'll see. See if I can find a picture of them. There were some dwarves I painted with Walmart craft paints about 10 years ago. But uh, that, that's, any, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, hope you guys have a good night. Still enjoying watching all the photos, looking at all the photos and watching the videos. Hope you guys have a good evening. Adios.